Hello everyone on YouTube. This is Amber from Combo of Rocks. Um, I haven't ever posted a really long video like this and I usually post a lot of shorts um, or other videos on paintings that I do with acrylic painting. Um, sometimes a DIY um, and then sometimes my husband posts other stuff. But I decided to do another type of art. So I ordered some Talavera Mexican tile from Amazon, some seconds. Um, they were supposed to be broken, um, but most of them were beautiful, and it was uh, really hard for me to cut. This is the first time I've ever done anything with tile or mosaic. I ordered the tools. I'll have everything listed um, with my video of everything that I use. Before I get started, if you would like and subscribe, that would be great. Um, also, if you have any advice, anything that I could have done better, this, like I said, this is the first time. Um, but let's get started and I'll show you the process. As you can see, I got some beautiful pieces. I hated to cut any of them. I did put some away to keep as whole pieces for later. So I decided to do this mosaic piece on a patio table, a glass top that we have. I first had to sand it. I had painted it before, so I had to sand it a lot and clean it to get that most of the paint off. Um, it was kind of hard and then came the process of cutting the tile I had to make sure I wore safety glasses because those pieces go flying I did get a couple uh, types of snip uh, tile snippers cutters um, to do the uh, cutting the tile like I said this is the first time that I've done it so it's a learning process um, if I had to do it again I would cut things differently um, and I also would definitely wear some tough gloves um, because it was pretty um, sharp and I did get a, a couple nicks which was silly of me I should have put some gloves I'm going to speed it up through this process and then we'll go back as you can see, I, I was just kind of cutting around. I really didn't know what I was doing. I kind of had an idea what shapes I needed. I used mostly the snipper, the nippers with a wheel on them. Um, I ha I'll have them listed below. Um, after I got them all cut up, I did sort them by color. Um, I thought that'd be easier. I kind of had a, a little bit of an idea of what pattern I wanted to use. So I sprayed off the, the table with some cleaner. You can see I was not able to get all that Rust-Oleum paint. I also put an old sheet down on the floor that we use for picnics and stuff, just not to get glue and stuff on, on the floor. Um, next, I, I did tape off the sections because I kind of knew what pattern I wanted. Um, I At first I did it and I didn't use a tape measure um, and it was not even, and I'm very obsessed about things being even. So I went ahead and used uh, the tape measure and evened it out. I removed the tape off and on several times. I finally um, used the tape measure, like I said, to get it the way I wanted. I found the exact center where I wanted my um, main tile that I thought was beautiful to be. Um, it was easy to select. And then I went ahead and I used um, a graphite pen and marked off the tape on the um, table. I'm going to speed it up again. Here I, you can see I placed some bigger pieces that I cut out. The tile had a little dust so I had to keep wiping off the table but I did find the middle of my tile in the middle of the table and then I started um, to remove that tape. After I got all the tape removed you can see I could see the lines that I marked. I marked also the placement of where I wanted the big pieces of tile with that graphite pin. I thought that would help me uh, be able to know where exactly to glue that. I did use weld bond glue for the tiles. I had watched a lot of YouTube and that's what they suggested. This first big piece I put it on the back of the tile and on the table and then placed it. After that, when I started getting to the smaller pieces, I just put it on the tile and then placed it. I'm gonna speed up the video again for you. After I put the big piece in the center, I did lay a one on top of it upside down to kind of weight it and hold it down. And then I worked on the, the four smaller pieces that I cut out. So after that, I just basically started finding some of the um, smaller pieces and making a pattern that i kind of seen in my head. Like I said, I paint, so I kind of see artistic visions once in a while. So I just went from that. So um, we're gonna zoom through me laying the pieces 
on and then we'll get to the fun part. I can say this took me way longer than I thought it would. I thought I would be able to get it all cut and placed one day and then grab it the next. That did not work out. It took me several days um, between work and you know home life and other things, but I think it was worth it. Would I do it again? Um, maybe. I like to get things done quickly, so it was a little hard on my patience, but after I get it, got it done, I, I did like the results. You can see here, I decided to put four more big tiles on to kind of incorporate into the design. And plus, I really love those pieces and I did not want to cut them. So I moved outside. You can see, here's all the materials I did with grout. I'll have the supplies and where I got them links in my description. Um, it, I was kind of excited about it. It was pre um, already mixed grout. I got from Lowe's and I just used the tools that I purchased off of Amazon and really worked that into the, all the cracks and then I, it's the instruction said wash a few minutes afterwards and it did take quite a bit um, to get that off of the top and then I did, had to figure out what to do on the edges so I did get an idea I put the grout all around the edges and then I wrapped it with saran wrap and then I used the little plastic um, thing in my hands to smooth that out to make a smooth edge. I didn't want anyone to um, get cut onto the tile on the edge. So I kind of grouted it up on that and then all the way around the edge. I may paint the, the edge of the table later on blue to match that tile over the grout. You can see there I'm showing you how I smoothed it out. Then after I washed it several times, I had this little buffering, buffering cloth that came with it and I shined up um, as much as I could. And then I also got a, um, a little metal pick and tried to scrape it off the tile. Um, I I do use, you should use caution with that because it did scrape, make a little couple of scratches, but here's the finished table. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I might've used white grout instead of this dark gray. Um, if I had to do it again, or maybe black, just something to make the tiles um, pop. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, if you have any comments, advice, or anything else, just leave a comment. Um, please like if you like this video and subscribe. Um, I will be doing lots more paintings. Thank you. Bye.